Zion, say Torah, Paranai, Mirushalayim, Kimitzion, say Torah, Paranai, Mirushalayim, Kimitzion, say Torah, Paranai, Mirushalayim, Kimitzion, say Torah, Paranai, Mirushalayim. Shabbat Shalom. Sukkot is a time to enjoy nature. We eat our meals outside, we sleep outside. We're supposed to enjoy the abundance of the natural world. And so I snuck away for a few days to the mountains where I could get some fresh air, go for some long hikes and reflect on just how lucky we are to have this world and to think about what we can do, each one of us, to be God's partners in protecting this world for future generations. And now we come to the holiday of Simchat Torah. We rejoice in our learning. We rejoice in the story of the Jewish people. And how does our story begin? It begins with creation. Another reminder of how important it is not to take anything in this world for granted. Least of all, this world itself. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us. And Chag Sameach. I hope it's a joyous Simchat Torah for us all. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzifanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Shabbat V'shel Yom Tov Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. If you are comfortable, please rise for the Baruch Hu, our call to prayer. What does the Shema mean? The honest answer is that we truly don't know what our ancestors intended. We've received a text refracted by centuries of interpretation. And because of that, each of us has a sense of what those six resonant words mean to us. And their impact is as much emotional as it is intellectual. Melody, familiarity, the context in our lives at present, their historic import. The compl this complex interpretation of those six words captures the essence of my deep and abiding relationship with Torah. It's a richly detailed mosaic written by unknown authors in unknown places over many, many centuries. 
It captures their yearning to understand the world, what God wants, where they came from, and where they might be going. Our task as modern Jews is to at once read the text in its original context. What can we understand about the authors and how might it enrich our interpretation today? And at the same time, find meaning in an ancient text with the questions that it poses to us today as we find our own answers. The Torah remains holy, not because it's God's book, but because it's our book. Sacred literature, sacred ideas, sacred questions leading to sacred outcomes. For Torah to truly live, we must continue to discern its relevance, and so it will challenge us to elevate our lives as we engage with its, with its most profound and transformative questions. Shema. your 
If we are all created in God's image, teaches feminist theologian Judith Plasco, then the divine must be fluid and multifarious. God adapts to meet us. We adapt to meet the divine. We see this in the multiplicity of divine attributes we see in Torah. We meet this when we encounter God in prayer. And so tonight, as we turn to the words of the Amidah and its silence, we invite you to encounter the image of the divine whom you most need tonight, or perhaps who most needs you. Hi everybody, it's Assemblymember Jesse Gabriel. I have the great privilege of representing our community in the state legislature up in Sacramento. And now please join me in a prayer for the United States from Mishkan Tefillah. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and our country be sound in body and spirit. Amen. Shabashamayim, Tzur Yisrael v'gohalo, Barich et mininat Yisrael, Reishit smichat geulatenu. Rock and Redeemer of the people Israel, bless the state of Israel with its promise of redemption. Shield it with your peace. Guide its leaders with your light and your truth. Strengthen the hand of those who defend our holy land. Deliver them, crown their efforts with triumph. Bless the land with peace and its inhabitants with lasting joy. And together let us say, Amen. What better way to conclude Zuman Simchatenu, the season of our joy that we begin with Sukkot, than by celebrating the one thing that connects Jews across space and time throughout the world and throughout history, our Torah. We'll begin tonight by hearing from the end of Torah, from Vezot Bracha, the Torah's final parasha. And for the honor of our Aliyah, we're going to invite 
one of our congregation's matriarchs, Sylvia Milberg. Immediately thereafter, we'll turn to Bereshit, to the beginning of our Torah. We won't pause for but a second in between ending and beginning. And for the Aliyah, for those very first verses in our people's ancient text, we're going to listen to our most recent B'nai Mitzvah, who were just bar and bat mitzvahed this past Saturday. We'll hear the final verses and the beginning verses of our people's story as chanted by our wise school sixth graders who are preparing for graduation this year as well as to become bar and bat mitzvah themselves. So I invite you to relax, sit back, and enjoy Simchat Torah. Bar ho et Adonai Adonai ham lorach Baruch Adonai ham lorach lu olam va'ed Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher b'achar banu mikol ha'amin v'natan lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten Hatora. Amen. Velo Kam Navi Od Be Israel Kamoshe Asher Yeda Oronai Panim El Panim Lachol Haotot Vahamotim Asher Shlacho Adonai Lasot Beret Mitraim Lefar O Lachol Avada O Lachol Arzo O Lachol Haya Hazaka Ulechol Hamora Hagadol, Asher Adza Moshe, Lene Kod Israel. Varohata Adonai, Elohena Melcha Olam, Asher Asher Natalano, Toran Emmet, Vihase, Vihaye, Olam Nat Tan. The Tohail Barohata Adonai Note Hatora Baru Adonai Amorah Baru Adonai Amorah Lelam Ba'ed Baru Adonai Amorah Lelam Ba'ed Baru Adonai Amorah Lelam Ba'ed Baru Shamahim, that are at. They are at. I taught Tahu, the Vohu, the Hoshe, up Nato home, the Ruach Elohim, Merahefen, all Penehamahim, the Yomer Elohim, Yo, by Yo. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lano Torah Temet, Bechayi Olam Nata Bechayinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Amen. Amen. The Vial Kulam is a prayer of thanksgiving and gratitude. This evening, we are grateful for all those in our community who give of their time, their substance, their energy, and most of all, just their spirit.
Tonight, we celebrate Shabbat and Simchat Torah. Simchat Torah is simply a joyful holiday. In fact, it has joy in its name, rejoicing in the Torah, or literally, rejoicing in the law. There are, of course, other happy holidays, Purim, Hanukkah, yet those holidays celebrate Jewish victories over those who had wished to destroy us. And Sukkot, while joyful, also reminds us of difficult travels in the desert and the fragile nature of life. And the high holidays, well, they have a decidedly upbeat but also serious tone. Simchat Torah is different. It's pure joy. We are celebrating the completion of the yearly cycle of Torah reading. We take the Torahs out of the ark and we dance with them, and we read from them. Tonight, of course, we chanted the last verses of the Torah in Deuteronomy, where we emotionally witnessed the death of Moses. And this servant of God is buried by God, and we shed a collective Jewish tear. And then we chant the first verses of the beginning of the Torah in Genesis. The first part of the Torah tells probably the most widely known story in the world. It's about how God created the world and Adam and Eve and what happened in the Garden of Eden. That's a general description. But if you look at each verse of the Torah carefully, indeed, each word, to me, is, is, it's as if you're peeling the layers of an intriguing moral mystery and we will certainly find some extraordinary teachings. Take just the very first verse of the Torah, the one we might easily read over quickly. It's a good example. Breshit bar Elohim et hashamayim ve'et haaretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That one verse changes everything. In fact, 
one might say it's perhaps the most important verse in the Bible. So let's take just a couple of minutes to realize what that verse teaches us. It teaches us that God is the creator of the universe. God is at the apex. If there is no creator, we would not exist. It means we're not just a bundle of molecules that happen to come together, but that everything created was a willful act of God and that God created nature and therefore is above nature. Did you know that that idea is unique to the Torah? No other holy book, certainly of the time, of which I am aware, saw God as above nature. God is supernatural. That first verse teaches us that there is one God for all humanity, not only the Jews, but all humanity. And if God created the world, then everything created has a purpose. And later in this first chapter, when God creates humans, it was a willful act. And therefore, there is a purpose and a meaning to our existence, every single one of us. And that is just a taste of what we can learn from the very first words in the Torah. And later, when we read about our ancestors, you almost feel Abraham's excitement and, frankly, his trepidation when God tells him to move to another part of the world. We imagine Sarah's pain when she is unable to bear children or so she thinks. We imagine the loving relationship of Isaac and Rebecca, and we traverse generations with Jacob, his sons, his grandchildren, as they go quite literally from famine to feast. And we're still in the first of the five books. And then enter the towering human figure of the Torah, Moses, our leader and forever our teacher, who after God's voice we hear from, from the burning bush to the edge of the promised land, whose extraordinary triumphs and memorable tribulations we witness thousands of years later. The Torah teaches us how to celebrate life how to mourn death, how to help the needy and to tame our instincts. It teaches us how to treat animals. It gives us insight into human nature, how to act towards our fellow, fellow Jew, frankly, and those who are not our fellow Jew. It teaches us that if we must wage war, to do so with decency and how to live with the glorious gift of peace and Shabbat. It is the foundation of our Judaism, the source of our strength and of our hope. It is God's gift to humanity. That gift is wrapped in the memory of our people and tied in a bow. And every week we unwrap it so we can read its words once again. So tonight, on this Shabbat and Simchat Torah, let's indeed rejoice not only will it bring a smile to our faces, but I imagine to the face of God, alongside the faces of Abraham and Sarah, of Isaac and Rebecca, of Jacob, Rachel, and Leah, and all the generations ever since. Shabbat Shalom and Hag Sameach. Kiddush for Shabbat, the Yom Tov of Shmini Atzeret. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher bachar banu mikol am, Verom amanu mikol ashon, Vekidashanu, Bemitzvotav, Vati ten lanu Adonai Eloheinu, Vahava, Shabbat limnucha, Umoadim lesimcha, Chagim uzmanim lesasson, Et yom ha Shabbat hazeh, Vet yom 
Hashmini Chagat Seretaze, Zeman Simchatenu, Bahava Mikra Kodesh, Zecher Litziat Mitzrayim, Kivanu Vacharta, Veltanu Kidashta, Mikol Hamim, Beshabat Umoade Kotsheha, Bahava. Uvratzon, besimchav sason, hin haltanu. Baruch ata Adonai, mekadesh ha-shabbat v'Yisrael v'hazmanim. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shechianu, Vekiamanu, Vigianu, Lazman, Aze. Shabbat Shalom, Bechag Sameach. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol L'atheid gedula l'yot seher preishit Sh'lo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot V'lo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Sh'lo samchel k'enu k'ahem V'gor aleinu k'chol ha'monam Ha'anachnu korim, u'mishtachavim u'modim. Lifnei melech, malchei hamlachim, ha'kadosh barechu. when we mourn and we be comforted. We need one another when we are in trouble and crave help, or when we are in the deep waters of temptation and a strong hand might pull us out. We need one another when we would accomplish some great purpose and cannot do this alone. We need one another in our defeats, when with encouragement we might strive again, and in the hours of success when we look for someone to share our bliss, and we need one another when we come to die and would have gentle hands prepare us for the journey. All our lives we are in need and others are in need of us. We best live when we bring to one another our understanding and our solace. The Mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah v'yama divarach utei v'yamlich mach utei V'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayedechol b'et Yisrael, b'agala u'vizman kariv imru amen. Yehei shmei rabba mevarach le'alamu l'almei al-maya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnasei, v'yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shmei l'kudesha b'rechu. L'elam min kol b'rachata v'shirata, tushbachata v'nechamata, da'amiran b'amad imru amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shamaya, 
v'chayim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom v'mramav, hu yaase shalom, alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Thank you for joining us. And I want to thank our clergy team and our entire staff for making these services possible. I hope you'll also consider joining me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for Torah study, and then at 10 a.m. for our Shabbat and Shemini Atzeret service, led by myself and Cantor Lutz. We'll be able to celebrate the beauty of Shabbat. We'll also have an opportunity to offer Yiz Kor prayers, prayers of memory for our loved ones who are no more. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom. But that's not always true. If I add me to you, here's what's so cool I knew. We are one when we see each other. One another, like a sister or a brother. When we all stand together. Turn to you for strength, open our hearts, O oh God. Vachenu yotzreheinu, kulanu keechad. We are one when we see each other, one another, like a sister or a brother. Open our hearts, O oh God. Bachenu yotzreheinu, kulanu keechad. We are one when we see each other. One another, like a sister or a brother. Cool.